Welcome to the Vion Podcast. You know, we're always keeping an eye on science news, and something uh, pretty fascinating popped up recently, right from our own solar system. Oh, yeah. What's happening? It looks like the sun. Well, it's doing something a bit unexpected with its usual activity cycles. Ah, the solar cycles. You mean the roughly 11-year pattern. Exactly. We're currently in solar cycle 25, which kicked off back in 2019. Right, and that cycle builds up to a peak, the uh, solar maximum. That's when you get more sunspots. Those dark patches. Yeah, areas of really intense magnetic activity and also more solar flares, coronal mass ejections, basically big bursts of energy and material. Okay, and something big happens with the sun's magnetism then too, right? That's right, a major event. At the peak, the sun's magnetic poles actually flip. North becomes south, south becomes north. The whole sun flips its poles. Wow. What does that mean, practically speaking? Well, it's a huge influence on what we call space weather throughout the solar system. It can affect Earth's magnetic field, even mess with our satellites sometimes. Okay, so cycle 25 started in 2019. It should still have a ways to go. Like another six years or so? That was the expectation, yes. But, and this is a really interesting part, scientists are seeing, well, early signs of the next cycle, cycle 26. Cycle 26, already? But 25 isn't even finished. How do they know? It's pretty clever, actually. Researchers like Dr. Rachel Howe's group at Birmingham, they track sound waves inside the sun. Sound waves in the sun. Yeah, think of it like helioseismology, listening to the sun's vibrations. These waves tell them about the sun's internal rotation and flows Mm -hmm. and subtle changes they've detected in these waves, along with some uh, shifts in the magnetic field near the surface and even new sunspots appearing. It all points towards cycle 26 starting to stir much earlier than expected. So the sun's jumping the gun a bit. What could that mean? Are we just looking at maybe more northern lights or something bigger? That's really the big question right now. It could lead to more frequent or perhaps more intense auroras, yes. But scientists are digging into whether this overlap, this early start, might signal, you know, more significant solar events overall. So they're still figuring it out. Definitely. Dr. Howe and others are crunching the data, trying to understand how these plasma flows and magnetic fields really drive the cycles and what this premature activity tells us. It really shows how dynamic the sun is, doesn't it? Always something new. Absolutely. It's a complex system, and this overlap is a unique chance to learn more. And the potential impacts from the beautiful auroras to, well, our technology, it makes it really important research. Couldn't agree more. Well, this has been a fascinating glimpse into the sun's slightly unusual behavior. Really makes you think. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come on the VON podcast.